first Christmas cards printed. Was, was it New Zealand? Mm. Terrence, too. They've been trying to steal our crown for the past two years, but it's gonna take a Christmas miracle, Shivana. But, hey, we need to talk. What's up? You wanna talk about the answer? No. London. 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 No, London. Hey, no. baby, that's not what I'm saying. I'm moving to London. Before, but today they finally made a counter offer. Must have been good. Damn good. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna head up their new offices in London. That's fantastic. Mm. <laughs> I'm really proud of you, baby. Thank you. Oh, it's about time they recognize your brilliance. Six months apart is a long time. Yeah, but um, we can manage. I mean, come on. We've done a whole summer apart before. True. <laughs> okay, what about the spring? I mean, I hear Janet will be on tour. Control, Don't right? Bring Janet into this. That's gonna be hard. I mean, that's that's our busiest time of the year. All right, all right. Summer then. You'll come visit me now, right? I don't know. I just got this new position. And with our summer releases campaigns, all eyes are on Rise Publishing, so... And you know Sabrina's been pulling me left yeah. and right. I, I know, I know. This new position is what's gonna get me closer to my imprint, you know? Right. Well, I'll always tell you. If God brought me to it, he equipped me to do it. That's right. So this is it for us? Yeah. We're doing it, though. We're doing it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shara Jackson, and this has been our interview with one of Atlanta's rising stars in the world of publishing, Noelle. Tell our audience about setting goals and fulfilling them. Wow. I guess I'd say don't give up on them. Don't give up on you. You're gonna have obstacles and distractions, but you also have everything that you need to get through it. And when things just get a little crazy, you have to duck and dodge and... My bad, girl. We just were... Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> we're just Sam. gonna step out Sarah, and, drop and make sure... Get out! You... Oh, uh, sorry, bye. <laughs> Sandra, you knew this was a big deal. I've been trying to get an interview with Atlanta's rising star for months. If our newest client hadn't tweeted about me, I'd probably still be on the wait list. I know, and look, I kept David Jr. quiet as long as I could. Well, maybe next time, if you could take away any weapons, I'd really appreciate it. Next time. Hopefully you'll be doing interviews in your own home. Oh, that was a subtle way of telling me my stay is long overdue. No, of course not. We love having you here. You family. Right, right. <laughs> Come on now. Our home is your home. You know that. Is it safe to come to the kitchen now? Ooh. Walk to my own home. <laughs> yes, babe. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, David. Oh, my. Hi. My interview went really well. Thank you for asking. Yeah, until David Jr. hit her upside the head with a toy. <laughs> That's my guy. Uh, so, Noelle, uh, my coworker, Herman. Mm-mm, no, no. You don't even know what I was gonna say. A single saw a picture of me on your desk and wants to take me out for dinner. Okay, so you know exactly what I was gonna say, but he could be the one. Look, you guys have so much in common. Uh-huh. Like what? So, he has books, you have books, 
He knows how to read. I'm guessing you know how to read. Look, this could be a match made in heaven. And somebody around here has to marry you off. And get me up out of your house. Oh, babe, I, I didn't. I didn't say this time she did. You, you know, I remember I know, our conversation. Babe. I know you did good. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I don't remember there being any complaints after I moved in to help my sister after her surgery. All that you can go out and earn a living to actually afford this house. And I thought that you had moved in because they gentrified your neighborhood. Yeah, and then they turned your little studio into a condo, and then they hiked up the rent. And then I remember you saying, I wish they would, before you moved into Casa de la Turner. That's okay, what I was. Okay, you two. Because she's bringing up old stuff. Baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I know. She messed with I you. I know. You know what? Hmm. Enough for my own place. So I'll be out of your little mansion soon enough, Scrooge. <laughs> There's no such thing as a little mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with y'all two later. Okay. I don't know she got. Mm -hmm. Keep, 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 keep talking. To me. <laughs> hey. Hey. How'd the interview go? Uh, surprisingly. Great. Who would have thought that I'd be that chick on the rise? Uh, me? I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for staying up late and helping to prepare for it. No, it's got oh, Hold on, wait. What? That's great. Hey, you know I gotta see my girl. Well, hey, your girl wants to be seen. I miss you for Thanksgiving. When do you get here? Soon. I got a few more things to wrap up over here, but, um... I'll call you when I have more these. Okay, cool. I'm gonna call you later, okay? All right. Bye. It, hello? So you got all of this at the farmer's market? I did, babe. So And that chicken sausage, but it smells like pork? Really? really? Science. Mm? <laughs> she made me do it. Love you. No, you are. I can't believe you let that man slip through your hands. I didn't let the man get away. He just, it's a mutual decision. To let go of the love of your life. To let go of my best friend so he can pursue his highest level of bliss. Boom! I gotta go. Good morning. Good morning, Maxine. Thank you. Uh-huh, they finally called. Okay, it's the pup. You did that today. I read your notes three times, and it still doesn't make sense. So you want me to cut a whole chapter? Yeah, because it's redundant. It's like you're repeating beats to fill pages. I was driving a point home. Mm-hmm, you did drive a point home in chapter six. Chapter six, it was fresh and intriguing. Oh, so you found it intriguing. Do tell, young lady, do tell. <laughs> well, people love the idea of Carla falling in love. They love that cat and mouse game between her and Eugene. But it really slows down in chapter seven. You know, it's, it's time for him to man up, stake his claim, get his woman. Yeah. I really think I get her. And we already have two books, so trust me. Well, I do. I promise. Hey, uh, Noel, so I... Oh, hi. Yeah. Deliveries all go to the receptionist, please. Uh, yeah, but this is a special delivery. <laughs> oh, my God, Terry! Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to come next week. You know, I thought I'd drop in and uh, surprise. Oh my gosh, these are your mama's sweet potato cookies? You already know. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> you know I'm on my holiday diet. For what? Assassins, when do you turn down free food? Listen, I had to get me your plate at your house and then the neighbor's house, too. Yeah, yeah well, why do you think we always <clears throat> called you? Oh, I am so, so sorry. Terrence, this is Vincent Downing. Author of New York Times best-selling series, Close Are the Waves. Yeah, yeah. Wow, man, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, bro. Uh, thanks for helping my girl get that interview to you. No problem. My mom loves your books, bro. <laughs> His mom loves my books. Oh, she's our target audience. 
Uh, nice meeting you too, man. Hey, you too. All right. All right. I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay, sit, sit, sit. <clears throat> tell me, tell me. How was London? How was your flight? How was the presentation? Oh, come on. Man. You know your boy killed that. Shoot, I could start two tech companies with all the juice in that room. Oh. But I'm telling you, this new ad that we're developing, it's gonna be a game changer. <laughs> okay, I know it will. So proud of you. Thank you. So, what's up? How's the, how's the fam? How's mom? Uh, well, you know, Sandra and Dave, they're great, but not really enjoying my company. <laughs> and... I was getting that groove back. Okay, no, we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how about you? What's new? Reading the next great American novel or helping to write it? Oh, mm-mm. These? These are all Vincent. I'm just a support system. But seeing you is the pick-me-up that I needed. Well, I'm glad I could put a smile on your face. I missed you now. Oh, uh, sorry, one second. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to stop by and see what you were doing tonight. Well, I don't have any plans. Wait. Are you trying to take me to the Kris Kringle karaoke thing? Uh, no, 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 no. Because once you hit that stage, there will be nothing silent or holy about that night. Excuse you. <laughs> Let's do dinner. Say eight. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. We got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It's so good to see you. I'll text you the days later. Good. All right. Thank you for all my gifts, my goodies. Oh, come on now. There you go. Bye. All right. <laughs> Whoever that was signed him, he is fine. His picture alone, I have books flying off the shelves. That's just Terrence. Best friend turned ex turned best friend again. He looks better than you described. London was definitely good to him. Huh. Well, he brought me some of his mama's famous cookie. Uh, I, well, I can't thank you enough for helping to coordinate my party this year. I know it's not a party of job description, but... Are you kidding me? To have the who's who of the publishing world along with Atlanta's most successful black men and women all under one roof? Mm. Yes, please. I am so, so honored that you selected me to help you this year. Well, you know how I like to nurture our company's biggest and brightest. And you were the only one in town with no Christmas plans, so... <laughs> Win-win for all. <laughs> Ma'am, I'll take what I can. Um, <clears throat> Sabrina, this party is going to be epic. The guest list is crazy. Mm. I also heard uh, Richard from Are You Looking at me? Don't think I didn't notice the chemistry between you two, especially at last month's publisher's retreat, okay? You look like you were looking for a little bit more than legal advice. I've known Richard forever. His firm used to rep me back in the day, and he just had a fresh divorce. Not my idea of a romantic prospect. He's been divorced for two years. I do my research. My dear, you are focused on the wrong kind of hookup. Now, this is indeed social, but I've invited some of the hottest up-and-coming writers, a room full of potential acquisitions. Perfect mixture of new money, old money, and most importantly, my money. <laughs> And you're going to get together and review the guest list again tonight? Mm-mm, I can't. I have plans. Well, I hope it's a date with that fine Terrence. Mm, we're just friends. <laughs> All I know is any man who wants to be just friends <laughs> doesn't stop by when he can just call. It is not a date, Sabrina. Okay. Or is it? Okay, so you gotta decide if you wanna look like chestnuts roasting on an open fire or mistletoe. What you feeling? Chestnuts? God, mistletoe? This is tough. Yeah, it's the first time you've seen each other in almost a year, but he's your buddy. 
Your pal, your friend. Yeah, I don't know, Sandra. Okay, everything was fine. At least I thought everything was fine. I'm thriving, he's thriving, you know? But then I saw him, and a whole bunch of feelings that I had. Did he smell good? So good. <laughs> Girl, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, it's just that he has this whole new swag, you know? And then he asked me to go to dinner with him tonight. I swear I heard something in his voice. What if he asked me to go back to London with him again? I say don't make the same mistake twice. What am I gonna do with my hair? Now, if you go with mistletoe. Hi. Hi. Wow, you uh, look amazing. <laughs> Oh, I do. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. No problem. Thanks for coming. You don't look too bad yourself. Thank you. Well, before we order, I... Actually, before you... Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, she's not the waitress. No, this is my girlfriend. Hi. Girlfriend? Yeah. You know, fun fact, her name is Noelle, too. She goes by L. Yeah, that's really crazy. I'm a hugger. OK. <laughs> it's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. I hope you don't mind me crashing your little reunion. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool, right now? Mm -hmm. It's totally cool. Don't be silly. Say it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love your dress. She's so pretty, babe. Yeah. No, he didn't. He did. How's she look? I don't know, ghastly. What did I do to deserve this? I've been a good girl all year. Well, don't throw in the towel yet. Santa may still be on your side. This could be a fling or something. You don't know. Just go and enjoy dinner. It won't be that bad. From each other all this time, but I had to move halfway across the world to find each other. Crazy, right? That's so Crazy. Would you believe it took him an entire month to call me after the party? Playing hard to get. But I had no choice but to say yes, because who could say no to a Janet Jackson concert? I'm sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> Did you say Janet Jackson? <laughs> you love Janet Jackson, too? She is my favorite. Have you ever seen her perform live? No, but I'm a huge fan. I mean, huge, huge, you know. I came close once. I guess I missed my chance. That's off. I'd like to think so. What are your thoughts, Terrence? Uh, I mean, no need to dwell in the past, right? I mean, where's the Christmas spirit in that, Noel? So, L, are you still in PR? Oh, no. I'm an influencer now. I felt like God wanted me to do something different with my life. Influencer and Insta model? Come on, though. That's one aspect of it, but it's so much more. I'm also an author. I like to encourage, inspire women to get more out of the life that they're living. So you're a life coach? Yeah. Miel has thousands of followers. She just shot of a million. Thank you. Enough about me. So, Terrence tells me you're also an editor. Mm-hmm. Senior editor at Rise Publishing. Rise? I love them. I self-published my first book, but I'm familiar with the company. Yeah, maybe you've heard of it. The Art of Elevation, Unlock and Unleash. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Never heard of it. Hmm. Uh-oh, you will. Seeing as though it's about to be a bestseller. <laughs> well, is that right? That's cute. <laughs> oh. Wow. 
Do you walk around with autographed copies of your book? For my man's best friend, of course. I mean, really, you're the only thing he talks about. To be honest, I'd probably be jealous if you weren't like his sister. <laughs> I hate her. Right from the show. She goes by Elle. But her name is Noelle. <laughs> See how crazy this is. He's clearly still in love with you. No, he's not. It's a coincidence. This is crazy. Like TV movie thriller crazy. <sighs> it's over. It's official, he's moved on. It was official when you broke up with him last year. That was mutual. So you did the right thing. I thought so. And I saw them together. Our careers settled. But he was ready then. He took a gamble, sis. I know. I lost my my man and my best friend. It's gonna be the worst Christmas ever. Nah. Not until she has a ring on her finger or a baby in the oven. I say you fight. You want him back? Then go for it. She can't out Noel you. You're the real Noel. L in her place. Maybe you're right. Maybe him dating this fake Noel is a call for help. S O S, you heard? I say we stuff up a chimney and send her packing on a reindeer. <laughs> you're back. I <Anna>. know. <laughs> They mess with my baby sister. I can't have that. Come here. Come on here. Now go get your man back. Oh, she's in it with Terrence. Uh, fine. Oh. Until he introduced me to his new girlfriend. Oh, from London? Was she white? No. She was a Noel. You lost me. He's dating this new chick named Elle Carter. Carver. Oh, wait, L. Carver, the L. Carver? I love her. Oh. Her book changed my life. Really? Well, it isn't the Bible, but the way she encourages women to unlock and unleash, definitely the edge I needed to buy Miller and House Publishing out. That's a gamble that still pays. Well, I guess she is the real deal. Recalibrate your mind to focus more on your I cans and I wills rather than your I thinks and I wishes. Just started glancing over it this morning. Oh, what's the hit? Was on several book club lists. She's an international brand, and this is just the beginning. She's on the verge of becoming a young Oprah and a Yamla all in one. I know she's from here, relocated to London, but if she did something stateside, she'd dominate the self-help market. Dominate? <laughs> really? Well, she did say something about publishing a second book and hiring an actual publishing house to help her. I think I could bring her in. Oh, I'm sure she's meeting with every major publishing Every major? Guy. We are standing in every major, <laughs> and you are every woman. Boost. Well, this could be the Christmas miracle you've been waiting for. You bring her on, and I guarantee you the board will be running to give you your own imprint. We sign her before my big Christmas party. That promotion's as good as yours. on it. Mm -mm. Y'all need me. Baby. You, you need me to lead this. Just sing Let the me song like everybody. Rough. That's the one. Huh? What? Ah, yeah, that's the one! <laughs> what's, what's the one? <laughs> that's my sister right there. 
Isn't your son somewhere crying? Is that your biological clock ticking? David. It's loud. She just started it. Why are you so dolled up? Are, do you have a date? Calm down. It's not a date yet. This is for Terrence. Doesn't he have a hot new girlfriend? You know I tell him everything, but nobody say it hot. Why are you dressing up for him? She's winning him back. Leave it alone. I had him first. She has him now. Leave it alone. Why? He's mine. He doesn't seem to know it. Hence the dress. So you're going to manipulate him to falling back in love with you? No. I've had him since Jungle Jim's and Hopscotch, so. And she's had his heart since you dropped him with this time last year? It was a mutual break, David. It's just a dress. It's just a dress. She's the worst. She's so the worst. I thought she was a black entrepreneur on the rise like yourself. And don't you have the same name? Is this what, it's like some self-destruction type stuff? Ignore him. You look amazing. Can you say that again, but slower? I want to record it. Stop. The real question is, what do you want? Oh, hey. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Thanks. Uh, see, the dress works. Yes, ma'am. So what's the occasion? Nothing. I just felt like, um, you know, just... Wait. Oh, yes. I started it. Not done yet. But it's in really, really good shape. Thank you. You know I couldn't date it without you. Your notes and thoughts on Eugene really opened this thing up for me. Oh, good. You know, him hiding behind his job and emotions instead of pursuing Carla was the wake-up call I needed. Hmm, right? That's wonderful. Noel, I'd like to take you out. Um. Out? Thank you, I'm, I'm very flattered. But you're my client. You know, Sabrina would never approve. She's your boss, not your mama. I work here. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Mm. So, you're saying no because I'm a client? Yes. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait, no, yes. <clears throat> I just don't think it's a good idea. To go to a little date. That we should keep things professional between these four walls. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> hey, whatever you want, Noel. Looks like I have a lot of writing to do anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Do you think that we can pick this up tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow. Sure, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, no problem. I'll talk to you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's good to hear from you, too. I just want you to know that I heard you, and I'm willing to try. I really want my best friend back. Do you think that you can come over to the office this afternoon so we can talk some more about it? I'm doing a taste test for Sabrina's annual Christmas party and Chef Jake is gonna be here in the afternoon so we can... Great, 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 yeah. Cool, see you soon. Chef Jake, this is amazing. <laughs> this coconut cobbler bite, wow. Thank you, I appreciate that. It normally does leave the ladies with a smile, but uh, how's the few, my man? That's all right. Okay. Hey, well, maybe I'll do better than you guys hire me to cater you anyway. 
Oh, actually, we're out. Uh... <laughs> mm -mm. We're not together. I'm single, very single, and open. I don't, not open, <clears throat> as in the bites, <laughs> chef egg. Wait, wait, you single in that dress? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I hope that wasn't too unprofessional. Very. No, it's fine. Drooling over these crab puffs. <laughs> And a man like you, single, cooking all of this. Yeah, hey, it's rough out here in these streets, but I've been a good boy, and hopefully Santa stuffed a little something, something in my stocking this year. Oh, <laughs> or someone? Ah, uh, I like that. <laughs> now I gotta revise my letter to the North Pole. How you speak your name again? Oh. Hey, you know, should I leave? Well, Terrence, you're still here. Really? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna get you guys two sample menus to finalize everything, and uh, a few more samples. I'm just gonna run down to my truck, okay? Mm. Alright, right <laughs> 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 If anything comes to mind, just let me know, okay? Because I can tweak, twist, and adjust the meat to however you like to suit your personal needs. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for our... I will be calling you. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> happy Hanukkah. Oh, happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> happy Kwanzaa, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you, Grinch? You were so busy. It's not even your type. How would you know? First hand knowledge. Well, maybe I'm ready to try something new. To the dress, got her, didn't I? No. Come on. Go. Go. Your mouth. You gonna tell me anyway? I'm just saying, I'll pay bitch. Mm. <laughs> what happened? Tell me everything. He said that he was thinking about coming back home. Okay. And she's thinking about coming back with him. And then Sabrina told me that she wants me to sign her. And if I do, I want the promotion. Mm-hmm. And the man. Mm-hmm. So meet with her. What? How? I thought we needed her. No, how are we supposed to help her? She'll be helping you. You gotta keep your enemies close. The pretty ones, even closer. Was that a saying? When they look like her, yes. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> you can find out what makes her tick, and then you'll know how to destroy her. You mean how to destroy their relationship? Just committed to the plan. And bored out of my mind working from home. So, are we gonna take this up a notch? L. <laughs> L. Carver. It is so nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> when I found out that you and Noel were friends, I knew this was kismet. Your book is truly brilliant. Seriously, we need more black girl magic in the world of literature. Thank you, Sabrina. Honestly, I'm just happy to be here. I mean, talk about black girl magic. Look at you. I've been following your career for years. You're a big my assistant went to go grab my book so you can give me an autograph. I got you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Elle how much of a game changer you've been in this industry. And with you coming back to the States to rebrand, there's no better place than Rise. I've seen firsthand how you move and inspire women. It's time. 
it's time that you start empowering them. Sis, white women have had the motivational genre on lock for years. It's time we start making some moves, shake things up. Okay, ladies, y'all got my attention. So, I was thinking, it's a quick turnaround time. Do you really think we'll be able to get that proposal back to Sabrina before Christmas? Oh, absolutely. I do them in my sleep. Together, we can have them by the Christmas party deadline and have a draft by the top of the year. You were brilliant in there. What? Me? No, no, no. That is Sabrina. No, I loved her idea to announce our partnership at the Christmas party, but it was you that sold me. Your passion for positively impacting the lives of women. <laughs> also, the fact that you want to do a five book oh, series. Oh, no, 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 but it was you. You, you had that idea for the live podcast no, by Women Inspired no. by Your Book. And it was your idea to get a sponsorship so that way we can do an HBCU college tour and have a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> You are brilliant. I love how you understand my brain, my vision, me. Yeah, yeah, I do, huh? I mean, I learned a lot about you today, about your impact, how you've helped so many women. It's really beautiful. I believe in you, Al. Thanks so much. That means a lot. I can't wait to tell Terrence we're besties, too. Special delivery. Second job. <laughs> hey, look, I can make bank around the holidays. Exactly. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, well, Elle told me you were working late, so here I am. And the flowers? Yeah, she said that she met with her attorney. Is she signing with you guys? What? Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. Did I ruin the surprise? No. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so where is L? And thought, why not deliver on myself? Right. It's <laughs> really sweet. No problem. Well, uh, since you're here, you have no plans tonight? No. Uh -huh. Wow. What are you thinking? They didn't stop us from sneaking in there in Avery, though. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's because you were a bad influence on me. Me? I was the... You were the one using me to make uh, Antoine Bell jealous. Just don't act like you don't remember his name. I was not. Okay, I just wanted a nice night out at the movies for Christmas, and... I used you, okay? But it didn't work, so <laughs> you sucked. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. <sighs> so tell me something. He can't bake cookies. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it's none of your business. All right. You've been dating since we. Yep. I've dated. Been dating. When I have time. Right. You're MO. Surprised you even had time to start a relationship with me, let alone him one. Wow, is that where we're going tonight? Don't act like I didn't rock your world for two years. What? Are you serious, no? Still, you, you've seen this like a hundred times. Shut up. Everyone cries at this movie. <laughs> Stop laughing. 
laughing. It's not. Okay. Look, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me help him. Let me get you the tears. Yeah, yeah. You're always teasing <laughs> me. <laughs> Why do you do? Oh. 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 I'm so sorry. Here, give it to me. I'm sure. Dave. Here. It's melancholy. Uh, should I do? Oh no no no. no. In front of baby Jesus. Uh, we I, I, were I just for watching a movie and, and, and then we got some cookies, but it's but, not but really what I tried to. It, it, it was an accident. Somebody had a good time. <laughs> I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Go to bed. No! You gotta give me something. <laughs> it was good, okay? It was, it was great, actually. So was his chest. <laughs> Why you look so sad? I don't know. Girl, this is everything. <laughs> Do you think it'll work? What? With this marketing plan, it has to. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds serious. It is. So, do you want to tell me, or do I have to ask you? Ask what? Who is he? Who's, who's who? The man that's making you smile. I see you glowing, your outfits. You just coming in with tight clothes. You looking good, smelling good, all that. Come on. Tell me. Who is he? Hey. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were in the meeting. Hi. Sorry, I had a meeting with the marketing team, so I figured I'd pop in. Mm. Is it a bad time? No, no. I'm really glad that you dropped it. Yeah, car. Yes. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And I love your work. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'll be right with you. Um, I got some news. I loved your draft. I think you're done, my friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so no more notes? No more notes. No more red marks? No more red marks. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's amazing, Vincent. This is probably some of your best work. It's great. Thank you. No problem. I'll let you two get on with it. Mm. Get some rest. I will. No more three a.m. text. No more. <laughs> Bye. Nice Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's him, right? What? Vincent? Yes. Yes. You think Vincent's the guy? Yes. <laughs> Wait, there's there's no guy. Um, but he's just one of our best-selling authors, you know? Like, you're about to be girl, so let's get back to work. <laughs> and speaking of that, I have a mock-up, a little something-something. I know you're not done with your book just yet, but I was hoping this could be some Sorry, swirling around in my head. You wrote this about me? About my book? Yeah, it was nothing. No. This is something. Girl, I'm not doing this with you today. <laughs> what? Oh, what's happening? That's it. Huh? We gotta celebrate. Celebrate? Our union, our partnership. Sisters leveling up together. Terrence already had his good time with you. Now it's my turn. Grab your bag. Let's go. Come on, you have to be getting along well enough. When I first met him, I couldn't believe he was single. I mean, you gotta be honest. I know that's your boy, but since he is fine. I mean, he's all right. He's the total package. You gotta be a fool to let him go or a confused, complicated soul. What about you and your exes? 
I don't have many, but my dad, he was intimidating to them. I did hide one boyfriend. I was with him the longest. Was he the love of your life? No. He put me down a lot. This part of me believed it was true. He was the inspiration behind my book, encouraging and motivating women to know their self-worth no matter who they're with, because I had to. And then I met Terrence. He changed everything for me. He too was hurt and wounded after his ex. Hurt and wounded? It took a lot for him to trust me with his heart after all he had been through. Yeah, sure. But he did, and here we are. I mean, who actually gets to meet and be with the love of them? <sighs> hey. Hey. Where's Sandra? Knocked out sleep from Christmas shopping. Best time for me to wrap her gift. How was your Eve? Is your diabolical plan of destroying black love working? <laughs> oh, come on, no comeback? She loves him. Like, really loves him. And you do too, right? Legitimately, I would hang with her. Mm. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I mean, why do I have to give up everything that I want for her? But isn't she kind of giving you what you really want? Her signing at Rise absolutely solidifies your imprint. And isn't that the dream? Yeah. Why can't I have the dream and the man? <laughs> you want to know what I think? You know how she feels about him. You know how you feel about him, and you're kind of clear on how he feels about her. But what you seem to be quite unclear on is how he feels about you. Figure that out, and maybe all this will make some sense. I hate when you're right. Then you hate often. <sighs> a live podcast. Oh my God, that would be so good. Then we can do marketing dollars. Right? Scholarship. Yes. <clears throat> Babe, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm not gonna be here long. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing here? We have a deadline to catch. Okay. Yeah, babe, we're working. All right, I'm not, no. Would you mind if I get the room for a second? Can y'all take a quick break? <laughs> sure. Thank you. Hmm. Do you want anything? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. We have to present an update to Sabrina in an hour. She wants us to do a pre-presentation for the board. I'm super nervous. I don't know if we're gonna do good, baby. I'm so scared okay. because well, it's so nervous. Okay, just calm down. I'm so nervous. All right, all right, that's why I'm here. Oh. I'm down. I'm here. But why are you here? Because I'm worthy and I deserve this. I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Because I'm worthy and I deserve this. You know, I'm a little hard of hearing, so... Baby, but... because I'm worthy and I deserve this! <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like, I know you had some disappointments in the past. Mm -hmm. right? And that's why you self-published, but Noelle's great people. She is. She believes in you. Yeah. She's got your back. Yes, yeah, she does. I got your back. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do great, you hear me? Yes. You will not fail. Thank you, babe. I'm gonna let you. <laughs> and what else? If God bought me to I love you too, dear bear. How much you love me? I love you. How much? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the problem? His family's annual pre-Christmas dinner is perfect. His mom loves you. This is a mess. Pretending like we're still bro and sis. <laughs> Elle will definitely catch on. His parents will meet you. Mm, once his mama found out we were dating, 
she started sending me fresh knitted baby clothes for our future babies. I don't see the problem. So what if Elle finds out she'll be devastated and she'll leave? You talking about that deal with Rise, the one that has you on the rise? Well, she's my friend now. And she's helping me, I'm helping her. I don't know, this is a mess. All right, so you're also his best friend. So if you don't show, it's gonna look suspicious. So what are you gonna do? I know, I know I look good. <laughs> and no pictures, cause I charge you. <laughs> Ooh, we look at you. Mm, make yourself useful, make yourself useful, make yourself useful. Oh, you look ravishing. Oh, make him a spin, give me a spin, give me a spin. Ooh, they're gonna need some theme music when you walk in. <laughs> so I could go with you. I'll do no such thing. She lives here rent free, so this is her duty. Mm. <laughs> Shut up. You know I love giving you two a chance to bask in your love. Thanks, sis. <laughs> give me this. Mm. Let's get out of here looking all fine with this animal. Damn. <laughs> looking through old photographs. All the ghosts from Christmas past weigh heavy on my heart. Oh my god. It's melancholy, taking out the ornaments. Each one its own sentiment. Those tiny works of art. The time that we could all be back together. Maybe I'd enjoy December. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, good. Hey, hey, look who's here. And she bought cake. There's my girl. Hi, Mom. Oh, my daughter is finally. You ended things with her, not me. Um, <clears throat> smells so good in here. Uh, but where's Elle? I thought that she'd be helping, right? What? You mean the queen vegan? She threw out my chitlins because she thought it was molded food. Then she tried to put Brussels sprouts in my greens. Oh, come on, Ma. No, she was just trying to help. Well, there ain't no trying or experiment in my kitchen. It's Christmas. Uh-huh. Then you're messing around with my... <laughs> You wouldn't want that. <laughs> so where's Al? In the den with my dad, where it's safe. Oh, okay, let me go ahead and say hello. No, what you need to do is throw on that apron. No, I said she can't touch nothing up in my kitchen. And you know who she is. <laughs> no, no. Yes. I see much hasn't changed in here. Yeah. You know, my mom can't let go of this room. We never really had a chance to talk about our movie date. Date? Yeah, it got real. Look, if I crossed any lines. No, it's fine. I didn't take it any kind of way. I mean, you were just comforting me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. So, um, FYI, my mom has already agreed that she's not gonna talk about, you know. Oh. <laughs> Men. <laughs> I mean, this. This is your home. Wherever L is, is my home. So now your home is wherever your girlfriend is. That's new. Uh, don't go there, no. I'm just saying. What are you saying? I mean, what's it even matter to you? Well, maybe it's because. Hey, you too. Hey. Okay. Ain't here having fun without me? 
Just catching up. I think dinner's ready. And your mom said I can't go into the kitchen without. An escort? Come on. <clears throat> so, Noel, how's everything at Rise? It's great. Thanks to Elle. No, thanks to Noel. We have a meeting with the board tomorrow to finalize things. In less than a week, Noel built out a whole marketing plan to help me promote my new book, and it's not even done. Yeah, these two are really shaking things up over there. Mm, and seeing that I haven't read your first book and don't plan on it, you want to tell us what Leash and Unlock for Success, and the next one is about women unleashing and unlocking for love. Interesting. And you have a lot of expertise in this area, unleashing in love. Mary. What that? Come on, Ma. It's going to be really good. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to be a, a huge game changer for Black authors in the self-help space. Well, hopefully, it's going to be big for you. I've been watching you work so hard since you were a little girl, and baby was just proud. You uh, deserve a little happiness. Cheers to the both of them. You're my two special ladies. <clears throat> well, I mean, this is beautiful. Being able to celebrate you like this, babe, with my family. And I can only hope and pray that this is the first of many more holidays together. Sweetie. I feel the same. I love you so much, Sarah Bear. I love you too. Oh, all right, all right. Can we clear the table so we can pull the desserts out? <sighs> Look, I got it. No, wait. Hey, where are you going? No, no, wait, wait, where are you going? No, the goal, I cannot stay here. What's wrong? Hey, hey, look, come here, what's wrong? <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, we can't. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm confused. Why didn't you choose me? Why didn't you choose me? So that's it? You're using her to hurt me? No. I'm with her because... Because... Why are we talking about this, Noel? Because we never talk about this. Through all the laughs and smiles, I... We've never discuss why we couldn't make it all the way. We never discussed why you going and staying in London was so. You told me to go. No beginnings, remember? No, I was just trying to be supportive. Hold you down, that's what we do, right? Are you blind? Are you blind? I am still in love with you. And what happened the other night? No, no, no. I'm sorry. If I led you on, I, I just miss my friend and Please stop. Just tell your parents I was sick. Well. So once the outline is complete, on page six, you'll see our pre-launch plan. She'll tackle a chapter teaser each week to get the buzz going. Hopefully get some new trending topics and new followers to pre-order the book before it even sells. This is wonderful. Really, I think I speak for all of us when I say this is impressive. Elle, anything you'd like to add? No. Oh. Uh, Okay.
You made the Christmas deadline. <laughs> All thanks to Elle, we actually make a really great team. Yes, we actually did. Excuse me. Excuse me, Sabrina. Excuse me, everyone. Elle? Elle, hello, where are you going? Elle, stop. What's going on? You're her, aren't you? Her who? What are you talking about? Don't act like I'm an idiot. I overheard your whole conversation last night while I was in the kitchen. Elle, I don't know. You're the ex, the one that broke his heart. I am. Sorry for what? Sorry for pretending to be my friend. Sorry for acting like you saw something in me. I do. I do see something in you, and we are friends. Elle, I want to help. You saw a come up, an opportunity, and a fool. Some friend. Goodbye, Noel. Elle. 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 Noel, I need to see you now. Sabrina, I am so sorry. Is everything okay between you two? Yes, absolutely. Well, I hope so, because the board was impressed and they're ready to move. This has been... Well, I'm not so sure about that. Noelle, you are an amazing junior executive, but I draw the line when you interfere in people's personal lives and bring it into the office. Honestly, I didn't think it would get this far. So it was you. You had Richard call and ask me out. Wait, Richard, what? He called you? He, yes, he called right before the meeting. You didn't know? No, I had no idea. Can you believe that? Before he even had a chance to see me in my two sizes down designer couture dress, he asked me out. It's great. I'm petrified. Don't give me those Bambi eyes. I don't do this. I don't eat. Okay, then don't go. I can't. Why not? Because I like him. <gasps> and no one should be alone on Christmas. You were right. I don't have it all. But I would like a little bit of whatever this is. Well, then relax. And be you. It's who he's interested in. But, but how do I know? Noelle, I can't tell you how long it's been since I've dated. In love. Even long. You? You could do this. You just have to surrender yourself to the moment. Open yourself up to the opportunity. He's making his intentions clear. That's half the battle. You make it sound easy. Because it is. You just have to take it day by day. And if it's for you, love will come and find you. Can't force anyone to love you. Just open your eyes and listen with your heart. And you'll know what you have to do. But where are you going? Figure out what I have to do. Well, don't be late to the venue for the party. You know I don't deal with caterers. You got my messages. You talked to her yet? She left my parents' house right after you. Staying at a hotel, so. No surprise she spazzed out after your meeting. She's mad, mad. Can you blame her? Should have told her the truth. Why didn't you? No, I didn't want her to be uncomfortable. You know? I didn't want her to have to worry about... Worry about what? I thought she was the one, Noel. My wants, my needs. So she caters to you. 
No. Got it. She sacrifices for me. We want the same things at the same time. We were talking marriage in a year and kids after that. Really? Even with her career on the rise? Yes. Even with all of that, a life with me was never a second thought. We want to be together more than anything. Right. Not more than you wanted your career. And that's fine, you know. But I'm in a different place now. So am I. Everyone's here, mm -hmm. but of course, including Richard. Um, I saw. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Do I look nervous? Mm -mm. No, no, no. You look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, congratulations. For what? Start your own imprint. Serena, seriously? <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Which writer will you sign first? I don't know. I can sign writers now. <laughs> mm, I have an idea. So much. That means Hi. the world. Hi, how are you? Can I speak with her? Yes. Al, you Don't. look. You know, in getting out of my contract, I rise. Al, please reconsider. Why? Your job depends on it? No. Forget my job. You know what? Do what you want with Rise. I worked really hard to get here. And if I have to do it again from scratch, I will. But getting there is never really there. You know, if you don't remember the lessons along the way, that will keep you there. <laughs> you finally read my book. Elle, I am so sorry for everything. I know I did a lot of and push you to elevate your platform. And your voice deserves to be heard because I really, truly believe in you. I don't get you, Noelle. I don't. Not even after the 20 messages I left you? 26. Right? <sighs> what is he doing here? He's here for you. No. I don't want to be a part of y'all little games. No more games. No more lies. He is my very best friend. And you, Hunk. So now you don't love him. I've known him forever. So I will always love him. But he's in love with you. I don't know what to believe. That's fair. At least go listen for yourself. to unlock and unleash for love. <laughs> when we were kids, we used 
to lay down at the bottom of the tree of my parents' house and look up at the lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite thing to do on Christmas Day. You two gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so. We still got a lot of talking to do, but whatever you said help. Just tell the truth once. You don't have to say it. I love you. All right, always will. And I would never trade what we have for anything. Good, because I love you back. And thank you. For what? For letting me go last year. It was the release I didn't know I needed. So I can grow and go after the things that I really wanted at the time. And that doesn't mean that I don't want love. No. <laughs> I just want a love that loves me back. I want it at the right time, the right place. That is an excerpt from your girl's book. <laughs> <laughs> ain't what you deserve, love, no? And you find it. It just ain't what the show. Ah, oh, here you go again. I'm minding your business. Hey, uh, that was gonna stay a rise, too. Really? Yeah. Why? I'll talk to her. And you got my back. I got yours. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I'll talk to you later. Okay. can't even get to get dressed up for his own book. Hey, photo shoot just saw. Huh. I stand by that. Mm-hmm. You look very nice, sir. Thank you. And you look exquisite. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, who's your lucky escort tonight? And some celebratory champagne. Celebratory? <laughs> finally, 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 I get to publish books that I want, you know, promote new voices and writers and tell the stories I really want to tell. That is amazing. That's so well deserved. Thank you. So, how long do I have to wait before you offer me a deal at this new mystery imprint? Not a joke, Vincent. I'm not joking. You're crazy. Yes, I am. For you. Even after I... You made a huge mistake by turning me down? Hmm. Well, that could be easily rectified, Noel. <clears throat> uh, Vincent? Will you go out with me? <laughs> you already know. Noel, you've been my Carla since chapter three of my Corny, but probably the most romantic thing anyone's ever said to me. Maybe that's because Eugene is tired of running from what he really wants and just may decide to ask for Carla's hand by chapter nine. Hmm. Well, Carla might be inclined. Depends on what happens in chapter 10. Why don't we let the rest of this book
our plan failed, but I'm glad you have Vincent. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Watching who over here, huh? <laughs> hey, Bubba. Hey, 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 Bubba. Come on, sit down. I'll give. Okay. Right. Right. Brother in law. All right, all right, all right. Right, right next to me. Okay. Mm. Mm. I want the big one. Open it and see. The... <sighs> really dirty. Play with me. Don't. Are you? Are you leaving? <laughs> so last night your girl found out she finally got her own imprint. Get up out of my house! <laughs> oh, this is the best gift ever. Holy! Yes, it's a miracle. Answer it. Okay. So look. Um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a gift. Mm. Oh yes. So and I'm going what to help you start packing now. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna turn off the Wi-Fi to get you out of here. Oh, Forget him. Do it. I am so proud of you. Thank you. you did it. I did. You did. <laughs> Got my own friend. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Thank you oh, so much. For nothing. Wait, was he kidding? Mm-mm. I don't want to.